what's up what's up what's up YouTube back with another video this is gonna be a real quick one but just wanted to give a quick update on the posi that uh, was installed just yesterday picked the car up everything ran smooth um, uh, the guys did a really good job on it but there's a couple of things a couple of issues that that happened that uh, man it just it just never seems to to stop with these with these cars these car bills but uh you know how it is when you take a car in to get one thing fixed and then they fix that but then when you get the car back there's like three other problems now <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what i dealt with uh yesterday but uh so anyway they put the pause in and um I know when I originally was talking about installing that new posi unit, I don't know, this is kind of dark right there, it needs more light. I know when I originally was talking about installing that posi unit, um, I was going to go with the 373 gears, and I had a couple of comments, some people, some people commented on there about the posi that I was putting in, um, you know, just saying, you know, I'm not going to like it, I'm not going to be really enjoy the car with that posi, it's a cruiser, and you know just different things and you know i truly respect people and their comments if they if you take the time to put in a comment i don't care whether it's a positive or a negative comment then you know i'm going to be somewhat uh appreciative of that because you took the time you didn't have to say nothing you could have just scrolled through and then kept it pushing but the fact that you at least took the time to comment on it uh you know i appreciate that but anyway, um, you know, most of the comments, they weren't, none of the comments were negative. Let me say that. Let me say that. None of the comments were negative. They were just people's opinion about what should be done. And I learned a long time ago that, you know, I could take people's opinion and some I implement and some I don't, you know. But then when some of the, uh, the opinions are somewhat sarcastic, then I might respond to it. I might not respond to it. But, uh even if I deem it to be a sarcastic uh, comment, but it makes sense, then I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So uh, again, none of them were um, were uh, uh, crazy comments. It was just people's opinion on what they thought I would like and what would be best, you know, <clears throat> for that particular for this particular car. So anyhow, uh, remember when I was going to put the posi in? Or while I was thinking about putting the posi in, I was going with the 373 gears because I wanted that other gear ratio um, just so that I can get on the freeway and, and cruise and so forth and so on. The problem was is I didn't have any problem with cruising on the freeway with the gears that I had. I could get on the freeway. I could do 75, 85 miles an hour. And um, I didn't have a tack, so I didn't know exactly what my RPMs were. But I would turn the music down. I would hear no, um, no whining or no. Uh, it wasn't a real high pitch noise. It was just it was it was smooth. So I could only assume that the uh, RPMs were sitting good. Then what I did is I went online and I typed in my tire size, the uh, gear set that I thought I had in in my rear end along with the speed that I would be going and the RPMs that came up were, were pretty spot on. <clears throat> they were really good. They weren't, they weren't high and they weren't super low in that fourth gear. Cause remember I got a 700 R4. So when that fourth gear kicks in, I'm in cruise mode. Anyhow, to make this a short, quick video without babbling on, I had the posi put in. When they took the old unit out, I asked them to tell me what gears I had in there. Well, come to find out, I have 336 gears in there, which I was cool with that. And I asked him to look at the gears. He looked over the gears. He said, man, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these gears. Whoever had the car before you uh, changed out the gears, but it is the factory we're in. So with that being said, I told him, hey, man, just leave those gears in there because I don't want to change out to the 373s and then now all of a sudden I got issues or I'm having problems or there's a leak or you know just something stupid or crazy so uh, anyhow 
that's what I have in there now. I got the Posi unit in there with the 373s or with the uh, 336 gears, and I'm cool with that, man. I the thing is, is I never had a problem with doing 75, 85 miles an hour on the freeway, driving smooth, no whining noise, no high pitch, no no uh, rear end making any noise, and I never had a problem with. Uh, burning rubber I just had that one wheel peel I could break it and and spin the tire all day without any body's business but um, I did want that posi because I didn't want that one wheel peel so I had them put the posi in kept the 336 gears that's cool with me the problem is they told me I needed new axles one of my axles um, I'm not sure I believe it's the driver's side is kind of not good it's it's not super bad but it's not good it never was leaking when I had the car for over four years it never was leaking and he said that he didn't change out the bearings or anything so they didn't want to put the new bearings in with the old axles so anyhow he went on ahead put the axles back in so that I could take it home. I went online, ordered some new axles, also ordered new bearings because I didn't know if I had the right ones. The first time I ordered all this stuff, like two years ago, um, so I'm gonna take it back up to him probably next week and he's gonna install the new uh, axles in there. And uh, uh, yeah, man, it'll, it'll be done after that. Um, but <laughs> I go to pick the car up and when I pick the car up, it won't start. And uh, I don't know what they did or what happened, but somehow, somehow something's going on with my neutral safety switch. I cannot put the car in drive or neutral and start it. It just will not start. Um, so I got other ways that I can start it, you know, um, uh, that that allowed me to get it started. And, and since sometimes if you wiggle the gear a little bit you know um, if you wiggle the gear a little bit it'll go ahead and start but it wasn't like that when I brought it in there I never had an issue with turning the key and it's starting so anyhow that's what I'm going to try to tackle today I have her sitting here in the garage right now um, but I'm getting ready to pull her out of the garage I'm going to uh, uh, take that whole center council out so that I could uh, see exactly what's going on with this neutral safety switch. I may just need another one, so I may just throw that uh, neutral safety, the new neutral safety switch in. But first, I want to mess with this one and see if I can uh, figure out what's going on. So I'm gonna do that, guys, and then I will uh, hit you back up here in just a minute. All right, you two, we back. And uh, I think I was able to narrow it down to what the issue was. Man, it's uh, it took me a minute. Man, I, I wasn't ready for this. You know, sometimes you want to start something thinking it's going to only take you like five minutes. And the next thing you know, you're like two hours into this thing. But anyway, let me show you real quick what I got here. I got to still button everything up, but that's what I'm working with. That's what I'm working with right there. I just took the whole center council apart. Come to find out, it's not my neutral safety switch. I even called uh, ShiftWorks, who I bought this system, this neutral, or who I bought the shifter from. And their kid, if you ever looking to upgrade your uh, shifter and you want to keep everything stock and so forth and so on, ShiftWork, uh, or ShiftWorks, uh, carry shifters for Chevelle and Paula, um, just different different makes and models of cars. But anywho, yeah, it's not my neutral safety shift switch, which is over there on the side over there. What it is is my darn cable. I gotta tighten my cable up because I can't really show you because I can't do this with one hand. But if you look right here. You can see it, that little gap between there. Maybe if I move the shifter, you can see. See that right there? Just that little bit is keeping it out of park. Man, just that little tiny bit. Let me see if I can get it from this angle here. Yeah, you can't really see it. You can 
can see it better like right here but you can see just that little tiny bit of push right there needs to be corrected in order for it to be actually in park so yeah man i didn't took the seat out and uh took the center council out was getting ready to order a neutral safety switch uh come to find out that's what the problem was so i'm gonna put everything back together go up under the car tighten up that neutral that uh the uh cable and see if i got room to tighten it up or even maybe even put it in a different slot or something i think i got enough room to where i could tighten it up we're talking about not even an eighth of an inch just very 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 slightly so let me get that done and i'll get back with you peace all right youtube i'm back and we are back in the garage everything is finalized everything is put back together uh yeah i guess uh, it's not a neutral safety switch like i thought it was it's actually the cable connected to my transmission uh, for some reason i don't know i got it all put back together and as usual i put it all the way in the park like i was doing before when you saw in the earlier in the video and now it's still kind of having a little issue with starting but anyhow i'm not trying to spend the whole day trying to figure this thing out it starts up it runs i'm good with that maybe next winter or next uh before next summer i'll get back at it and and get it all dialed in but yeah in the garage now you can see uh you can see that uh she's all put back together got the seats back in everything's uh cleaned up i'm getting ready to go for a drive man i took today off to get out and do some riding a little bit run a couple errands and enjoy this thing so uh yeah um i think one thing i didn't mention uh that uh happened yesterday also when they put the uh the posi in it's actually limited slip is what it is it's not true posi it's limited slip but what happened was is when they put that in i told you that my my um my rear axles are gonna need to be replaced i got those on order so they're coming but they also said because of that they didn't want to put the new um axle seals in and all that good stuff so they left the new ones out kept the old ones in it hadn't it wasn't leaking prior to me doing this so for over almost four years it didn't leak at all but he said that uh that uh it may start leaking a little bit um just uh keep my eye on it don't be worried about it but if it does leak no big deal just let him know uh, because he's going to be putting the uh, the new axles in probably next week sometime. So he said I can still drive it. Not no big deal, but just, you know, keep it. Don't try to burn rubber in it now until he um, puts the axles in it and uh, maybe drive it for a little bit. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, the other thing was he said when he went to take uh, the gears out in the back, he said I had barely any um any uh uh rear end fluid which is kind of weird to me because the car ran perfect he said i had just enough in there to uh kick it up to lubricate the parts but it needed to be it, it was it was empty but uh so anyway youtube i'm gonna get off this uh this uh this channel here and uh again go for a little cruise here go take care of some uh, business run a few errands and i'm gonna come on back home and get ready got work this weekend get relaxed so i can work this weekend but yeah oh the other quick update just before i get out of here is i got a call from the body shop my car the chevelle 71 chevelle build is all put together and man i should be picking that thing up if not this weekend for sure probably next weekend um, and I can't wait to get it. I didn't got uh, radiators. I've got, I ordered my shift kit. I've ordered, uh, uh, shoot, a bunch of stuff, man. The only thing I haven't gotten yet is that American Auto Wire. That'll be coming here with about a, in about a week or so. Uh, I'm going to slap that Terminator X Max in there, hook it up to that 4L60E transmission. 
fire that baby up for the first time in a long time and man i'm gonna be excited to see how that thing's gonna sound but anyway i'll get back with you guys on the next one peace out